It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another VR video. Today we are back in Project TX. And uh, yeah, you'll notice straight away that we are in a different place, a, a random new design for the little demo area that I've been working in. This is not the, the sort of finalized area that's going to be in the demo. I am intending to make the demo quite heavy on content, uh, which means there'll be quite a large area to, to explore and have a look. Uh, now you have to ignore this uh, stored stored cart over here. Uh, this is just a little part of uh, some things that I'd worked on, on in the past. This is actually the same one that was in the uh, Tiny Battle Bros um, video that I'd made last, which was uh, I think years ago now. Uh, but yeah, so that that's a modelled cart that I modelled, and uh, yeah. I'm probably going to be showing showing off a bunch of random models that have been used in the past um, in my projects in this demo and just place them all over the place. Now, the first thing you'll notice, of course, is uh, the character himself has actually changed a little bit of a, of a design um, element there. And that's for a reason. Uh, now, the first thing you'll notice is the, the headphones. They are missing. Where's my headphones gone? And uh, the answer to that question is, of course, right in front of you. It's actually a little bit to your side there. Uh, so here they are, the headphones once again. Uh, and uh, the thing that these are highlighting is that they are now physics objects. <laughs> no, that's that's not it. That would be a completely pointless video now, wouldn't it? Um, so it's actually about holster points today. So what we've got here, if I switch you over, no, nope, wrong button. If I switch you over to my view, you'll be able to see that there's actually some holster points on my body. Click. There we go. You can see it on screen. So here we go. Right pocket, shoulder, other shoulder, other pocket, and head. There we go. We can actually place it on the head. And now you can see that I've got Luigi headphones on my head. Whoop. Off. On. Off. Swap them out for the old ones that were there before. Mario. And then you take that off. And, of course, you can have these cool Nimsoni version ones. There we go. Really, really cool. Now, there's something else you'll, you'll have noticed there, which is that just placing the object there doesn't actually show off the, the, the thing. There we go. Um, so, if I just place this object next to my shoulder, it doesn't actually show the, 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 the HUD, right? The HUD. Now, that's because I've actually decided to try something out. And what that is, is that I actually have to hold the, the primary button on the controller to activate holsters. Now what this means is, if I was to, if I was to just place my hand there and grab, I'd be able to grab the actual headphones. But if I don't press the activation button, I can actually grab in that area without having to accidentally grab my holstered object. This also allows me to extend the holster points so that they're quite large zones allowing you to very easily holster things if, of course, they were uh, allowed in that holster point. Now, um, let's have a look at the main element to, th to this video, which uh, is why the holster points had to exist. The holster points do have some... Oh, wait, you're on the wrong camera. There we go. The holster points do have some extra functionality to them, and uh, that's actually visible here to my left, but ignore that for now. The first thing we're going to play be playing with it's guns. You'll notice straight away that there's actually sound effects, which is why I'm going to put these guns down for now and have a look over here. Now I'm going to have to be very quiet because we're hunting rabbits. No, we're not. <laughs> references, references, my friends. Right. So here you can hear, here you can hear um, the sounds of nature. <laughs> I'm just messing around today. Right. Um, so I actually recorded some audios. This is the actual shuffling sounds of my own real hands. There we go. You can actually hear the audio of me moving and sliding along the surface. Now this is very, very early, early days for my audio. Um, and all of the, the guns probably sound kind of terrible because I've just used uh, free sample effects that I get 
all over the place. A lot of these were taken from the hybrid test chamber demo that I'd made before. Oh, there, there they are. And the other thing you'll notice as well is that the reloading doesn't work very well, right? So here, I'm just gonna empty a, empty a magazine. There we go, empty mags, as you can see. And uh, the way that I reload them, if you just have a look from my point of view here, is I press the secondary button, click, and that releases the, the magazine. As you can see, no physical magazine has dropped. That's there for a reason, because I am working on some uh, intelligent magazines, which I, I am not able to show in this video. I was trying to finish it, but it's not done. And then, of course, because I don't have the magazine uh, functionality yet, I can just click it again and that finishes the reload. There we go. So you can just reload there on the fly. Now, if I empty it and shoot, you do get an empty magazine um, sort of effect. And then there we go, sort it out. Let's have a look at the recoil. Uh, now there's something special about the recoil with this. Of course, it's physics based as usual, right? So here we go, usual recoil. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, however, there's something different about the recoil here. Depending on how you hold the gun, that will impact the way that the recoil affects you. Why? Because you have a ragdoll arm, right? So here, regular rag, uh, regular ragdoll, regular recoil. However, if I stretch my hand out here, that actually changes the way that the gun recoils. It doesn't go backwards anymore. Instead, it kind of goes slightly to the side because it's not really able to push back on this on this bone structure here. Now, that's very bad for your bones, but uh, luckily we don't have a health system yet. So, there's one more thing that you'll actually notice when, when it comes to recoil. If I point it sideways, that really increases the recoil. And again, that's because of the ragdoll structure, right? There's a lack of strength behind you if you're pointing it like this. This is really bad form when you're firing a gun. Please don't do this. Not that I now know anything. I've literally never held a gun in my life. So I know nothing about these weapons. And I'll probably get the names wrong as well. <laughs> and now, of course, you can do uh, two-hand objects. And uh, that does affect the, affect the recoil, of course. Makes it a lot easier to see. Um, but you can see it even easier by just going into slow-mo, right? So here we go. Recoil, stretched out. Much better recoil. And now for terrible recoil. There we go, really bad. And then of course with two hands. Very, very steady, right? Nice and cool. Now, before I switch you over to that camera, there's something else that I wanna show. Really, really cool. Let's grab these uh, Mac 11s for a, for a very quick uh, sort of slow-mo burst. Looks really cool, doesn't it? But it looks even cooler when you do this. <laughs> I have, uh, I, I've set the, the menu button on my controllers so that they actually slow down time to zero, right? So now you've actually got complete stop motion time. And because you're viewing from my camera, you can actually walk around and see see your character, right? So really cool. And then I can re-continue uh, the time. <laughs> and you can actually hear that change as well. Really, really cool. In fact, if you were to place some objects in your holster points, right? Including some headphones. Let's grab the Luigi ones for now. Then um, while you're firing, you can actually see all your holstered objects, right? Really, really cool. You can actually see all the things that you've holstered right there and then, because this is all visible while you're in game, right? There's no, there's no hidden head or anything like that. The only thing that's hidden is the eyes, right? And then you can even view the bullets as they come out, the, the actual um, bullet casings as they come out. Now you can actually see the bullets flying, but I haven't caught one. Um, I'll catch one when when you're looking through the when we're looking at the toy gun. But for now, we're just going to have a look at each of the guns as they are and just see what the recoil is like. So here we go, 1911. Usual business, 1911 with a long slide. Pretty much exactly the same functionality as the other gun, 
However, this one has a very slightly increased muzzle velocity. So I've actually gone on the internet and get, gotten an accurate uh, values for all of the guns, including that one there, which uh, is not going to be in the demo. So there we go. You can see the effect of the recoil being affected by, by the increased muzzle velocity. In actuality, I just increased the force on the, on, the, on the gun itself. Here we've got really bad recoil, but that's because I'm using one hand. Of course, if I stretch the hand out, it does help a little bit, but here's the best bit, right? If we switch over to the camera, you should be able to see it does, of course, impact on the body, right? What is going on? Yeah, the collision's on this table. Not very good. <laughs> so there we go, right? Ignore that. So if you if you if you actually lean it on your body, impacts the recoil, right? So really, really cool. Here we go. With one hand, a little bit better on the recoil. Of course, if we hold it with two hands, it's much better, right? Let me switch you over to that camera and then we'll just have a, a little go at all of the guns. So there we go. This gun, one hand, like that. Dual. Nice and cool, right? Have we got something there? We'll just drop that over there for now. I'll show you those in a moment. And then we can actually just store that as well. The assault rifle from Halo. Uh, this won't be in my in my demo, of course, but I do like to test things as uh, as as I find them on the net. Uh, so again, accurate values for this. It is a terrible weapon, right? You can't really aim over the top because it's just not designed functionally, right? It, it's designed for beauty and it doesn't really work very well. But it does have recoil and you can see how cool that is, right? Uh, I didn't make the screen work at all. Ignore those, doesn't matter. So that's all those uh, small weapons we have already seen. The Mac 10s, uh, Mac 11, sorry. There we go. And then we've got these uh, P, what are they called? They are called MP7s. Yeah, I, I actually forget the names of guns because I really don't know much about them. Ooh, sorry about that. Tracking, uh, tracking loss. I uh, blocked both of my sensors. Yes, I am still using a CV1. I like the CV1 controllers, deal with it. I'll be using an index very soon just because I have to, because I want to work on, on those index controller finger, tra finger tracking, right? Uh, so of course with one hand a lot better there we go very cool now these these are really cool because these are actually toy versions of the exact same guns let's go in slow-mo so that you can actually see what's going on here in fact i'll do it normal first <laughs> there we go you can actually see little pellets coming out and they actually bounce actually bounce off off the thing that they hit as well right uh, you'll have to ignore the sound effects I haven't used the correct sound effect they're actually using the regular sort of clinky sound of bullet casings so these are um, I've actually changed them based on the color so the the, the yellow one was ob obviously the semi-auto M1911 and uh, the the Mac 11 here auto firing it's got a little bit uh, faster muzzle velocity on it as well and these, the red is going to be for shotguns, but for now I haven't implemented shotguns yet. So uh, I'm just using it on this. And for the fun of it, I made them auto as well. Now these are gas firing airsoft guns. So you can see the actual gas coming out of the side there. <laughs> just for the fun. Right? I don't know how they would work in reality. Who cares? Uh, an, um, what's it called? An M4? Usual business. Nice and cool. Of course, use my body to save on the recoil there. Or just hold it properly. There is a little bit of a problem here with, uh, with recoil when you lean it on your body. Because my shoulders don't account for guns yet. Right? What that means is, as you fire, it slides sideways because the shoulders are not trying to hold the gun forward. Right? We've got uh, 
and uh, a P90. Pretty fast, fast firing guns these. Here you can really tell that sideway movement on the on the gun. Two of them. Ooh, those things are crazy. And then uh, one of these, which is called a scar. I think it's the gun uh, that I, I like from 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 Crisis. Really cool. I love that thing. What have I got in my backpack? Right, I'm, I'm going to take that. Actually, I'll take that as well. <laughs> and then, of course, I've left a broom. Why? Because it's only very nice for, of you to clean up your mess once you've gone and dropped bullet casings absolutely everywhere. Right? I think that all gun ranges should have a broom. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I have no idea what a gun range is like. I've never been to one. So there we go. Very, very cool. Now, there's something cool about the holster points themselves, right? They are generic. They're not just on the player, right? So here we've got, obviously, a holster point that works on the player. But that same holster point is on these guys as well. There we go. I can actually store guns on there. And you can see these aren't full physics at the time while, while they're stored. But once I've grabbed them, they come out as per usual, right? And that's a really cool thing because what I can do is I can put those holster points in other places, right? Ignore those guys for now, because over here, we've got a bin. No, I'm joking. Over here, we've got a nice case. This case is actually empty, right? I'm using the context buttons again to activate this, uh, this case, right? And what there is in here is there is an actual holster point there, right? So that means if we choose a weapon, I don't know if this one will fit nicely, but we'll try it. It just about fits just about fits as you can see that holster point again acts as a proper holster point it works properly and then i can just pick up this physics object and now i've got a stored weapon <laughs> very cool right so here we go and then whenever i just walk around and then wherever i am drop this here pick out my gun and it's empty <laughs> Of course it's blooming empty. What else is it gonna be? For goodness sake. There we go, right? So really cool holster points and really cool context sensitive actions. It all looks really good. It all feels really good. And of course, when you've got a sword on your back, it makes you look even cooler. Actually, it's even better when you've got a bigger sword, a proper Viking sword. A Viking sword and a UMP45 all at once make me really cool, right? <laughs> And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to pick up this guitar because this guitar has something special as well. Now, what I've got here, because of me, uh, me moving all the movement controls onto the analog sticks, which I, I made a very big deal about, right? And this is clearly why. All of this that I can do, including the reloading, activation of that, uh, of that case, which is over there. Where is the case? I don't know where the case is. Who cares, right? It all allows me to use all four of my context sensitive buttons. Here, I can do exactly that. I'm going to have to switch you over. In fact, I'll switch you over in a moment. I can actually strum this guitar. Right? It plays some really terrible sound effects, but it's uh, you'll get the point, right? What I can do is I can actually play chords based on which button I'm pressing, right? So I can press this button. And change the code to that or I can press this button and change the code to that now this last button which I press will actually rotate the camera so I'm gonna switch you over to my view so that you're not spinning around like mad and I can actually play three separate chords Terrible. <laughs> so yeah, once I've actually sorted that out properly, uh, you'll be able to actually hear me play a song, right? I'll play a proper song for you uh, and uh, get demonetized in the process. <laughs> but <laughs> there we go. That's the point, right? So all of this very fun stuff that you can do, uh, you can throw this onto his head and just be like that. 
and then uh, store the next one into your pocket which i just released and then of course get rid of that what you can also do is a bit of wing chun because uh, i did show this in one of the previous project tx videos that was before this new body structure and you can see that it actually looks much more cool now much more cool when you're doing that <laughs> much more cool when you're doing that with a body structure that actually makes sense more to come later on thanks very much for watching i know this one's a bit of a rambling video uh, but uh, there you go that's how the world is that's how it all goes right so let's just store these up get rid of the gun and uh, that's the end of this video thanks very much for watching see you in the next one goodbye